goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Yo, 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 yo. Yo. This game is graphics. We're back in the building with another Red Dead Redemption save editorial for you. This one is for the new update. It's uh, for 6.1 for the save editor. This one has features that um, are going to feature the barber feature where we get to um, change the hairstyle, change the mustache. Uh, this one is also has the feature for the challenges where we could um, arrange all the different challenges. And um, let's jump right into it, okay? Um, first, let's go ahead and uh, open our file. Um, I'm not going to show you how to get it from PS4 to PC. You should already know how to do that. If not, then uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube to figure that out, okay? So without further ado, let's jump right on into it. I'm going to go ahead and find uh, my backup save uh, right here. Right. right, let's open that up. All right, always click yes to make it back up. All right. Okay, now we're going to put this in full screen mode right here. All right, now we're in full screen mode. Now, if you look here up at the top, you're going to see a new option right here, which is Barbers, okay? So let's go ahead and click on Barber. All right. I got my character on Author. You could uh, switch it to whichever one you want. I'm going to keep mine on Author. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to do a, a very easy style. That way, um, I'm, that way I'm going to figure out if uh, everything sticks and figure out everything works, okay? So I'm not going to get too detailed in this hairstyle, but I will let you know what you could do with it. Um, if you click right here, or if you click on any hairstyle like this, or this one, or this one, you want to come down here and you could adjust the length, okay? With this red bar right here, adjust the length, all right? If you click it all the way full, then that will have the full length of the hair. If you click it short, that will have the short length of the hair, okay? So this red bar right here determines the length, okay? Um, what, and what, am I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a bald hairstyle, all right? Um, that way I know for sure how to see that hairstyle because it's going to be bald, all right? <laughs> all right, so once you're done picking your hairstyle from right here, um, you want to go ahead. Actually, let me see what is the... Okay, if you click on pomade, that switches it over, okay? Um, pomade is the grease, okay? Like slicking his hair back, okay? It looks more shiny or more uh, cleaner, okay? That's what pomade is, all right? So if you click on pomade, you get the option to turn it on or off, all right? Now, when you click on the hairstyle itself, you'll click on it right here, and then you'll see a check right there, okay? All right, and then uh, once you're done picking your hairstyle, go to this arrow right here that says back, and we could go to facial hair. All right, we click on facial hair. We're going to have some options, full styles, mustache styles, and chin styles, including uh, sideburn styles also, okay? So uh, let me go. I'm going to click on full styles right here. And let's see. Let's give author a big, gigantic beard. Let's give him the Josiah. Yeah, we'll give him the Josiah right here. And once you pick it, you'll see at the bottom it'll say the Josiah. Let me click it again. If you look at the bottom, right above this uh, bar right here, I'm just going to click right there. If you look at the bottom, it will let you know whatever style that you have clicked has been applied. So once I click the, the, the Josiah, you're going to look down at the bottom and see the Josiah applied. Okay? So whatever hairstyle that you pick, you will see that it says it's been applied down here, okay? It won't leave a check, it'll just let you know that it's been applied. I'm gonna click it one more time, look down at the bottom, the Josiah applied, okay? So once you have your hair, your um, your full beard applied or your mustache or sideburns, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and click back right here. And uh, once you're done picking out all these hairstyles, you could go up here back to unlocks, okay? Let's just go through um, everything right here, custom outfits. This is where you would uh, get all your outfits. Uh, general, this is where you reveal the whole map or you have the option to make no changes or reset the map. Okay, I'm gonna leave mine on reveal map. Uh, we have bounties. Bounties has been here also. Um, you get to change the bounties in each um, part of the map. All right, and then barbers. Um, 
we also have the weapons down here that you could go ahead and get uh, we have the cheats these are in-game cheats right here all right let's go down to challenges okay all right the challenges this is the new feature the new part that's been added to the save editor okay now the first one we have uh, I'm gonna name all the challenges we got bandit explorer gambler herbalist horseman master hunter and sharpshooter survivalist weapons expert okay I'm gonna start with bandit now click on bandit as you can see I haven't completed none of the challenges for bandit so when I click on uncompleted it automatically goes to complete it all I'm doing is just turning it on all right and when you're done um, completing all of them or turning them all on click on back that leads you back to the front page for challenges and you can click on the next challenge all right I have uh, a lot of these completed already all I need to do is complete the last three all right go back and as you can see the first two that I edited it says 10 out of 10 completed 10 out of 10 completed I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the rest of the challenges right now Master Hunter. Now, once uh, these challenges are completed inside the game, they will reward you with um, with uh, reinforcement uh, equipment. Now, that uh, reinforced equipment you could get from your trapper. Okay, so all of these challenges they um, they give you um, they give you some gear. Okay, and you're going to get this gear by completing these challenges. I will show you once um, we go over to the PS4. I will load up the save and let you know um, what has uh, what has uh, been completed, and also what um, changes that we made from the save editor will be transferred over to uh, our PS4. Okay, so now that we had uh, completed all of the challenges, it says 10 out of 10. So when we start up the PS4 and we go to the pause menu, that's what we're going to look for. We're going to look for our challenges and make sure they're all filled up 10 out of 10, okay? And uh, next thing we're going to go down to is Compendium. We have the same thing for the fish like we did for the animals. We have the regular fish and also the legendary fish, okay? Now right here you get to adjust the amount that you had caught for that fish, like it says 10, I get to adjust it to 12 or 13 of uh, bluegills cotton, okay? And then you get to also adjust if you caught it with cheese, or some of them have different uh, baits that you could catch them with that you could adjust. So the first one was caught with cheese, this one is caught with corn, all right? Let's click on the next fish. Okay, this one is uh, caught with swamp lure, okay? So as you can see, they all have um, different uh, baits that you could adjust, but they're only for the regular fish, okay? So you could adjust how you caught the fish, or um, you could adjust um, the amount of the bait you caught the fish with. Let me see that correctly. <laughs> all right, right here, you could adjust the amount of bait you caught the fish with, all right? Now, moving on, uh, we have the gangs. That was in our... Um, our, that was in our last um, update uh, this one you could adjust uh, the ambushes survived in each gang or the unique encounters uh, bounties captured uh, gang members killed and so forth okay so they have the options right here there's a couple of them that only have three options instead of four so um, I suggest when you open up this part, just go ahead and read through it and adjust it the way to your likings, okay? The cigarette cards. This was in our last feature. If you click on it right here, it will show you how many cigarette cards you have received. Now, for the ones you didn't receive, will be blank. All we have to do is click right over them, just like so. You can left click or right click. It doesn't matter. As long as you click on that empty space, a card will be revealed. Now, once a card is revealed, you look right here in the corner, there will be a back button where we could go back to uh, the front of the cigarette cards page. All right, as you can see, I adjusted that first one and I have 12 out of 12 collected. 
I'm going to go ahead and go to the next one and just click on all of those. And I'm going to do the whole thing that way when we go to the PlayStation, I go to the pause menu and go to the challenges. I can show you how everything is all completed. Okay, all of them are 12 out of 12 collected. All right, double check. All right, so that's the last um, option in our compendium. All right, let's click on inventory. Now this is where a lot of people are having trouble with um, uh, reading a lot of comments for the save editor videos I created and people saying that a lot of the inventory that they are uh, maxing out isn't showing up in the game. Um, now as you can see I have things over here that says 9,999 okay it was pretty much close to 10,000 items now I think in the game um, they have a certain amount that you are allowed to have for certain items now I think that that top amount is 99 okay so if you have anything that looks ridiculous like mines that almost has 10,000 of them um, I don't think that's going to show up in the game as that amount okay um, the only thing that will show up in the game as that amount is your trapper items okay there's an option where we could um, um, in, in, the, in the game where we get a legendary animal and then we get a pelt and we take it to the trapper there's um, a cheat in here where each pelt we take to the trapper will equal out to about 9,999 that way we can have infinite uh, trapper pelts to get all of our crafted items from the trapper okay so uh, that's the only thing that will stick in the game that I see at that high amount of 9,999 now if you just have uh, things in your satchel that you want to max out I would suggest maxing it out to 99 that's right folks 99 one below a hundred okay if you want all of your items to actually be maxed out, max them out to 99, no higher, no higher, excuse me, than 99. So I'm going to show you right here. I have a couple of things already set at 99. We're going to look for those things in my satchel as well. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and change all the other amounts or values to 99 because that will take too long. But all we're going to do is look for the ones that I have set to 99, okay? Because those are the ones I already preset to 99 once I seen that a lot of things weren't sticking, okay? So uh, when we're in game, we're going to look for the items I have in my satchel that uh, are 99. And we're also going to keep an eye out for anything in my satchel that says 9,999, okay? So that's to get down on that, okay? Um, I'm going to repeat that again for all the people that are doing the save editor and then taking over to their game and then loading up the game and realizing that all the items they maxed out, they don't exactly have that maxed out number they set. Make sure it's at 99. I guarantee you if you set it to 99, you will go in the game, load up your save, and have 99 of that item. For me, I like to have um, more of the, um, the items in my satchel that I use a lot. So for my horse, I like to keep... Uh, uh, the stamina the infinite stamina thing um i, I, I forgot what that's called um uh what is that horse thing uh, let's type it in real quick so i can give you all all right so horse stimulants okay that's one thing that i like to keep 99 of all right so let's go ahead and click on that and set that to 99 and enter Right, horse medicine and something everything for the horse I like to keep 99 All right. just double click on that 99 enter let's see horse medicine horse revive. see as you can see right here my legend of the East satchel right here I already have a uh, uh, up in the 90s set for it right here okay um, potent horse medicine. just click on this also because I think I'm using the the Legend of the East Satchel in the game. But just in case, I want to set all these to 99 because it's not that many and it's not going to take that long. Now, I'm just doing this to show you exactly how to get um, your items to stick in your satchel at the amount that you set it to. Okay, I'm going to leave these right here and um, I'm going to... We're going to look for these, okay, in my satchel. We're going to look for all the horse stuff set at 99, okay? 
All right, moving on to the next one is going to be the stable, okay? There's no new features added in this one, but there were features added in this one that I didn't cover in the past videos. So we're going to cover that right now. Try not to make this a lengthy video, but I want to get all the information in to answer all the comments and the questions uh, that are left in the comment section. So for our horse part right here, if we click right up here at the top, we can change your horse. Now make sure that you have bought a stable already because if you if uh, we all start off with one horse, so we all start off with one stable. Now if you wanted to edit two horses, you will have to buy that second stable in the game before you come over to save editor, okay? So I have uh, two stables. First one is Rachel, and the second one is Thoroughbred Steel right here, all right? I'm gonna click on Rachel. I'm not sure what horse I'm on in the game, um, but we're gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna click on Rachel, and if you go over here at the top, you'll see a pencil right here. If you click on that pencil, this will give you the option to change the horse's name to whatever you want. And also, this will uh, bypass the profanity check in the game. So you can name your horse pretty much anything you want to name them, okay? Um, I hope that this, let's see, let me change, I'm going to change both of them. Uh, just for tutorial purposes, we're going to call this one Salty Nuts, okay? I'm going to call it Salty Nuts, all right? Then we get a, a notification saying Rachel was renamed to Salty Nuts. I'm going to click OK. If you look up here, my horse has been renamed to Salty Nuts, all right? And right here, in the highlight, you could adjust your horse's uh, stamina core or your horse's health core and also your bonding level with the horse, okay? So if you uh, move the cursor over it, you will see what will be highlighted. I'm going to highlight the highest of the horse bonding, the highest of the health core, and the highest of the stamina core, okay? Um, let's see, for Salty Nuts, we got Morgan Rape. Okay, we'll keep it at that one. So in the game, what we're going to look for is my horse being called Salty Nuts. Let's go to my second horse and give them a name as well. All right, since it doesn't have a name and it's blank. Um, <laughs> we'll give it something that they probably won't let us name it. <laughs> so we call it... Uh, <laughs> Murder one. Uh, let's see if they let that by. I, I don't want to make it too profanity, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I do get kids and stuff watching these tutorials also. So, <clears throat> let me call that murder one. Something that uh, it probably won't let you pick up in a profanity check uh, for the games, okay? So, we got the first horse called Salty Nuts and the second horse is named Murder One, all right? So that's all that we're gonna um, do for the horses. I just wanted to cover that feature right there that you could name your horse anything that you want to bypass the profanity check in the game, okay? And as well as um, down here, this is the list right here where you get to pick your horse. Um, these options up here are the options for your horse from the mane, the tail, saddle, saddle bags, stirrups, horns, blankets, bed rolls. Feel free to go through this page and uh, edit the horse to your liking, okay? And next up, we have the trapper, okay? Now this trapper part, um, I believe, was added also in the latest feature. Um, this is where you could go ahead and click all the items to be available at the trapper. Okay, um, as you can see, we have a lot. Pretty much, we have all of them. These will be in the reinforcement part also. But in order to unlock these, you will need to complete all those challenges that we did earlier. So since we went to the challenges and we maxed out all of them to complete, then we come to the trapper and all of these will be available for us to buy inside of the game. Okay, so you can check them all you want, but you want to go to challenges and have those completed before you go over to the game. Okay, you want to check these, but you need to click the challenges and have those checked before you come over here to the trapper and check these or they will not end up in a game where you can buy them okay so go ahead and uh, make sure that you have went to the challenges part filled them out like I did then you can come down to your trapper and start checking the items okay so all mines is checked let's go down to the next section which is the weapons now this is a new section that has been added to the save editor for this last update this is where we get to swap our weapons. This is the weapon swap area right here, okay? Um, 
Now, one thing that I already went ahead and tested out, I tested this out uh, last night, the night when it came out, and the items that are in your satchel, let's say like the lantern, okay? That right there, you can't put a gun in the place of the lantern. It's certain items like uh, binoculars, that's another one, you cannot put a gun in the place of binoculars. Um, you probably could put another... Um, uh, non-weapon item there like uh, if we switch the binoculars with the uh, lantern okay let this actually let's do that right now uh, we're looking for binoculars okay we change the lantern to binoculars okay and let's change the binoculars to the lantern okay all right one thing I noticed is that when um, I was changing or swapping the weapons I swapped the bow to a weapon and the weapon wasn't there instead of the weapon not being there it was nothing there in that um in that space where my bow usually is um in my weapons satchel okay so that's what i'm saying if you take one of these um items that are not weapons and then swap them with a weapon like if we took the camera and swapped it with a weapon it won't be a weapon there it won't even be a camera there there'll be a blank spot it's almost like a dead spot in your weapons wheel okay so uh i suggest if you're going to replace um certain handheld items like the bow the camera binoculars lantern anything that's handheld um that's that's not a weapon um replace that with another non-weapon item okay so um from right here you yeah, we start off with your current weapon we could go ahead and put um anything that we want for the current weapon because um that's meant for weapons or it's meant for uh non-weapons as well okay so let's go ahead and choose a, a dynamite okay we got a dynamite for our current weapon in our hand um we're gonna skip this one the davy lantern uh the hunting knife okay we got a hunting knife uh what do we want to switch that with we're gonna switch it with another knife wide blade knife what about that okay we'll switch it with a wide blade knife um the cattleman revolver um let's see Cattleman revolver. Oh, well, we got the Grangler's revolver. We could look for that. Yeah, we'll just leave it right there on that. I'm not going to do too many changes. As you can see, it's a lot of guns here. And I already have all the guns. So, hmm. This part could kind of be useful if you want to, you know, switch some guns to certain places. But since I have all the guns and I'm used to where they're at... I don't want to do too much switching around, you know, it could be a little confusing and everything. Um, I, I would say start off like me, just uh, switch the first like three or four and then load the game up and see what that does. All right. And then go back to the save editor and then adjust it a little bit more. OK, so for right now, I'm going to go ahead and stop right here at the first four that I had. Um, edited. I had edited the current weapon, turned that to a dynamite, and the next one I turned into binoculars. The next one after that, I turned the hunting knife into the white blade knife, and then I turned the cattleman revolver into the Granger's revolver, and then I turned the binoculars into the Davy lantern. Okay, so that's what we're going to be looking for is uh, pretty much where my lantern is at to to make sure that it uh, swapped over to the binoculars, and then we're going to be looking for the binoculars to switch over to the Davy lantern. Okay. So once that's all done, um, we can go ahead and switch sections. Let's go back up to edit character. <clears throat> Unlocks. All right, back on unlocks uh, right here. You could adjust the levels, adjust the core levels. Now, sometime the character doesn't I mean, sometimes these doesn't stick for some reason. I'm not sure if it's uh, because I have an author or what. But um, just to let you know, some of those don't stick. I haven't figured that out quite yet, but I will. So um, after you have made all the new changes and everything, you want to go over here and click Save File. And it is saving the file, then we'll have a notification box or a pop up that says save was saved successfully. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and click OK. All 
All right, and we can exit out of this, and we're gonna go ahead and take it over to the PlayStation. All right, now that we have um, successfully loaded up our save in um, Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PlayStation 4, um, my save is loaded up as you can see. We are ball headed and we are author, all right? So uh, that's a plus so far. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, ride the horse to the trapper, but let's check the satchel first. Oh, that's the horse satchel. So we're looking for uh, the items that I checked to 99. As you can see, there's items in my satchel that are at 99. Um, I tried to go and get the most important items, like the items that I use a lot of, and set those uh, values to 99. Uh, pretty much all the horse stuff will be set to 99. Let me go ahead and check that again, just to show you. Now everything in here that uh, you want set to 99, go back into the inventory list on the save editor and look um, specifically for the item and set it to 99, okay? As you can see, I don't have anything in my satchel that's 9,999. So I think inside the game, the largest value you can have of any of these items in your satchel is 99. And for some reason, after you load in your game, you don't see, um, that item at 99 uh tried again all right because this save editor is still in beta all right so um you have to give it some uh trial and error okay there will be things that won't work correctly or won't work at all okay so it's in beta right now all right so now that we have that all set let's go ahead and check um our challenges all right let's go over to challenges as you can see i have uh all the challenges already uh, completed when it says 90 out of 90 all right and as you can see 10 out of 10 completed on all of the challenges 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 all right and if you look all of these are completed and if you look at the bottom, it will let you know um, what item that you have uh, unreleased since you have completed that uh, challenge. Because every challenge that you complete, um, it will give you a, a new item at the reinforce enforcements for the trapper. Or reinforce equipment at the trapper. So each time you click on one, you will see down at the bottom what it will unlock. And if we go down to, um, I'm not sure if it was total completion. No, it wasn't here. All right, and if we go here, you will see um, some things are uh, also completed, like uh, the gangs. But not all the percentages of the gangs. But we have uh, found all six gangs. I think I have found all six of those before um, I went to the save editor, though. Let's see what we're looking for. Plants. Okay, we have all the plants. Uh, that's one thing I edited with Save Editor. Um, all the weapons. That's another thing we had edited with Save Editor. So it shows I have all weapons and all cigarette cards. We had edited that also. As you can see, I have 12 out of 12 completed for the cigarette cards. All right, 12 out of 12. All right, not just, I'm not gonna go through all of them, just checking a couple of them. But as you can see, we have every single cigarette card. There's 144 total, okay? Let's make our way to the trapper right now to go check out the other unlocks that we have. Now, when we get to our trapper, we want to go to them and uh, select buy items, okay? That's going to bring up this menu. Just select the first one, garments. And then um, when you select the first outfit, you will see that it is has a lock at the top of it. But beneath it, you will see checks. 
If there's a check next to it, then that means we could apply the outfit, okay? That lock at the top doesn't exactly have to be unlocked for us to wear the outfit, okay? Because clearly we have unlocked all of the items. As you can see, I'm going to click on each outfit and you will see each of the items. They will have a check next to it, meaning that I could apply the outfit and it has been unlocked, okay? Even though we don't even have all the pelts it takes to unlock that crafted item, we still have it unlocked, all right? All you have to do is uh, click on it to apply it. Now you will see some are grayed out. That means that that particular crafted item doesn't go along with something else that you have on, all right? So right below this one, um, I have a, a blacked out item. That doesn't go with the boots I have on. And it will also let you know that at the bottom also, okay? So everything highlighted and with a check near to it, you could apply it right away. Next, we want to go to reinforcement equipment. Now, these are going to be all the items that the challenges are going to be unlocking. Okay, so every challenge that you completed, um, they're going to unlock an item. And this is where you're going to find the items right here at the Trapper and reinforced equipment. Okay, so as um, you can see, they have uh, categories of uh, different um, items. So we click on the first one for the horseman. Okay. And uh, we got all the items from the, the, the ammo belt to his holster and um, all just different little type of things like that. But these are only unlocked when you complete the challenges, okay? So uh, you still have to buy it, but um, you should have well more than enough money because we get to also edit the amount of money that we have on our save editor, okay? Um, I think the most we could put is, uh, I've got like almost a million dollars or something like that, some crazy amount. Or a hundred thousand or something like that, yeah. But you should have all the money that um, that it takes to buy all these, all right? So everything should be all unlocked. Um, if there's some check, that's because you had already bought it um, or already unlocked it previously before you had um, did the save editor. Like me, I have some that already have a check by it because I have already unlocked it on my own, okay? So this is where you're going to find all of the items that you unlocked from your challenges okay you have to go to the trapper and then go to reinforced equipment all right and this is where you're going to find all your unlocked items all right so um i hope that helped everybody out especially with the questions people had about things not sticking not working my answer will be to keep trying it um try it a couple of times a lot of things with these programs um they don't work on the first time right away uh keep in mind these are in beta stages also okay so uh smash that like button if this helped you out and subscribe to the channel for future videos this game's a graphics i am out i ain't scared of you motherfuckers